Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Verge Wraith Wallet or the Verge Wallet 3.0. So let's get going. Okay, so Verge is one of the privacy coins out there. It's a very interesting coin. And they've just implemented a new protocol called Wraith. It's actually uh, kind of been incorporated into their code base uh, for quite some time now. Uh, but they're coming out with some new wallet interfaces and uh, some improvements. And uh, I just downloaded the wallet recently and gave it a go and uh, it works really well, but there are a few little caveats that I'd like to go through with you. So uh, let's get going here. We'll go over here to the big screen, it launches. You'll see the Wraith Protocol splash screen there. Pretty cool. Okay, so uh, after the initial loading screen, the wallet should load up. So here you can see that uh, the green progress bar is running along the bottom and the wallet is syncing up correctly. Okay, so uh, here you can see that we're getting really close. Uh, we're down to the last few blocks. And once we get down to zero, then you can see those out of sync messages go away and you've got a nice wallet that's uh, synced up and ready to send and receive. So this is what it's supposed to look like. It's uh, synced up and ready to go. So uh, how do we get to this point? So I'm going to show you, uh, if you just download it by default, uh, you're going to get that out of sync message and uh, you could sit around for days and it may never sync up. So I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to get this thing up and running and uh, ready to go for you. Okay, and if we want the latest wallet, uh, this just gives us uh, the latest uh, Electrum wallet. You'll need to go up here, to, uh, and we don't want that. We want the, uh, the latest uh, 3.0 wallet. So uh, we instead of preferred here, we're going to click Desktop. And this gives us a choice of all of the, the newer wallets here. We want this one, uh, Verge Windows Wallet. We don't want the Verge Windows Electrum Wallet. We want uh, the newer one, the version 3.0. So we'll just click on download here. And it's gonna open up this window here. I've already created a folder uh, called Verge. Uh, you'll notice it's located in my software wallet. You can uh, create a wallet uh, folder anywhere you want. Uh, it's good to stay organized, I think, rather than just dropping it in downloads or desktop. Create a special folder and just drop it in there. And you'll see here it says Verge 3.0. You'll want that. Okay. And uh, we're also going to want the uh, Verge blockchain uh, so that we can get this thing synced up. So uh, it's up here. Just click this link here and it'll take you over to this page where they have several uh, servers that uh, have a copy of the entire Verge blockchain. So just grab uh, e any one, it doesn't really matter. I chose number two myself. And drop that into the same folder. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, and once you have those two things, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the Verge blockchain takes a few minutes to download. Okay, so we got that uh, all the way downloaded. Let's open it up. Uh, I can get rid of this one. I don't need it anymore. And now I can uh, decompress this archive the same way I did the first one. We'll just extract to the same folder here. And it'll take a minute or two. Okay, now just downloading is is uh, downloading that is not going to be enough. It has to be put in the right place. 
Uh, so uh, let me just demonstrate. If you just run the uh, the, the Verge wallet, the Verge QT uh, by itself, it's going to load up really quick, and it's just going to tell you it's out of sync, and then it's uh, we can you can watch it for days, <laughs> and it will not sync. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a bug or whatever, but uh, the issue here is pretty easy to solve. Okay, so we need to quit the wallet first so that uh, the folder will be receptive to change things. Uh, you can't uh, delete files while programs are running. It's just one of those restrictions that Windows places on us. <laughs> All right, so you have to uh, quit the program, uh, quit, uh, quit the Verge wallet. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go back over uh, to our Verge blockchain folder. We'll just open it up. That's what the, the this is the Verge blockchain that we just downloaded uh, from January 3rd, pretty recent. And I'm going to open up another window. Let's see if we put it over here. All right, so we got two windows open. Now, what I need to do is go over here to my local disk and under uh, users, we'll just open this up. There's a quicker way to get there, but I like to sort of demonstrate uh, how this works. Uh, we want to go over here to uh, Rex K. This this would be your username, and you'll notice here I have a little dim folder that says App Data. Now, if you don't see this, you can go over here to Options, to View, and you'll see here this says Show Hidden Files and Folders. So if we click Don't Show, which is the Windows default. Uh, it's it doesn't show up so if you don't see the app data folder we go up here to view options we go over to the view tab and we just click show hidden files and folders on drives and click apply I like to see that all right so we just go in here to the app data folder and under roaming we're gonna look for the verge wallet which is down here we just open that guy up now remember, you need to quit the uh, Verge Wallet. Uh, this will not work if the Verge Wallet is running. So I'm just gonna highlight all of the items that were in that Verge blockchain that we downloaded and just drag them over here. Okay, and it's most likely gonna say that some of the files exist and we wanna replace them. Just do that. And there we go. Uh, looks like they added a couple others, whatever. All right, and then we just close these off. Uh, actually, we can just, uh, let's go back over here to our Verge folder. Okay. We can even get rid of this. We don't need it right now. I like to keep things neat and tidy. All right, and if you'd like to uh, have quick access to this guy, you could even uh, just right click and pin to taskbar. So you got it down here in your uh, taskbar makes it a little easier to access. It's going to load up here. Uh, it's going to take it a bit longer. Uh, the, the splash screen will remain a bit longer. And uh, But when we get to the wallet uh, page, you will see uh, that out of sync message. But in this case, uh, after we've uh, downloaded and uh, copied the uh, Verge blockchain into the proper folder, it will, after a couple of minutes, you'll see the green status bar loading, telling you that it's syncing up to the, the current blockchain. And once that's finished, you'll have uh, the wallet will be all in sync and you'll be ready to send and receive. Uh, I should also add that even while you're waiting for the wallet to sync, you're welcome to go ahead and uh, create transactions. You can, uh, you know, go to send and get your receiving address and send that out to people. Uh, they can send to that address and uh, the balance or the, tra the new transactions will show up once the wallet is fully synced. Okay guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my uh, channel. And also, if you'd like to be alerted whenever I post new videos, uh, there's a little bell right next to the subscribe button, and I encourage you to check that as well. Once again, thanks for joining me. Uh, Crypto Dad out.